The heat is on for a local chef who will soon be competing in a culinary competition. Angela Kelly joins us live from the Big Tomatoes restaurant in Green Bay with more. Hi, Angela. Hey guys, well, take a look at this plate. Isn't, isn't it beautiful? It looks delicious. Well, it's something that Chef R.C. Schrader has created here at Big Tomatoes because he's going to be creating it for a big competition. Uh, Chef, tell us where you're headed and what you'll be doing. I'm heading to New Orleans in two weeks for the Regional American Culinary Federation Chef of the Year competition. And uh, I'm up against three other chefs to create uh, a dish using duck with one hour to cook it. And if you win this competition in a couple weeks, what happens then? If I win the competition, then I go to the national competition and compete against the other three regions in Texas in July. For the American Culinary Federation. So this is pretty, this is a big deal. So you are going to bring us through how you're preparing to make this portion of the dish, which is what? This is a duck sausage. It's made from the thighs. Uh, part of the competition is utilization of the whole duck. So this was a way to incorporate the opposite end of the breast. And, and basically what I'm doing is taking uh, the thighs, I ground them up uh, with some seasonings, made a sausage, and then I'm, I'm taking call fat here and, uh, and, a, and a little bit of, of cremini mushroom, kind of slicing it thin so that it fans a little bit. Okay, this is interesting. This is what part of the duck? Um, that's actually from a, a cow. That's the... the oh, from, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> See, I'm, I should not be in the American Culinary no, Federation. No, that's fine. I'm just using it as a wrap. Okay. Um, and it, it's it's basically pretty much all fat, and it, and it melts out. Okay. So it, it forms a real thin... Um, a real thin wrap, and as it cooks, then it'll it'll seal those those mushrooms right to the package. Okay. So I, I kind of form a little package, and then I'll, I'll cook it kind of right in the pan and basically cook all that fat right out of it. And then after I have that all rendered out, then I'll flour, egg, and bread crumb it to give it that crunchiness on the outside. So you put it in? I'll roll it in the flour and then into the egg. And then I, I, I took some uh, fresh herbs and breadcrumbs and made like an herb breadcrumb mixture. Okay, so that would be and this, that would be that this right part there. of the dish. So what is it like? I mean, are you nervous about this stuff? I think some people, you know, maybe kind of have an idea if we watch all those like cooking competitions on the Food Network and stuff. Is that what it's like? or? Um, it, it's, it's like that a little bit, but not too much. Um, to me, a lot of it is just cooking and doing what, what kind of comes natural to me. So um, I get nervous about certain aspects, you know, did I forget something or, or not do this or that. But for the most part, cooking the food, I'm pretty comfortable with. Well, you're going to have to keep us updated on how you do. I and will. I have, a, I have a feeling he's going to do pretty well. He's already won. Look at all these medals Just he already few. has here. Just a few. And, and actually, a few of them are from the American Culinary right. Federation. Correct. So Correct. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Well, he's going to show us how he makes this portion of the dish. It's a parsnips and potato puree coming up next, you guys.